Welcome to this short video tutorial on ECA accounts. The purpose of this video tutorial is to provide an overview on how ECA accounts works for account management and access to different ECA applications. This video tutorial will help R4DB3 users to understand ECA accounts, uh, to know how your Rich ID accounts have been migrated to ECA accounts, how to log in to an ECA application, how to use help functionalities, and where you can find further support. ECA Accounts replaces Rich ID as account management system for EPIC and R4BP3. The purpose of the ECA Accounts is to simplify, consolidate, and centralize the access to different ECA applications. EPIC was added on 2nd September 2014 R4BP3 on 3rd December 2014. Other ECA applications such as Rich ID will follow in the future. In addition, ECA accounts helps to manage in one central place your legal entity account, create, add, or modify users related to your account, or provide access to third-party users. The account management is similar to Rich ID. Roles have been streamlined. Legal Entity Manager role for a user who needs to administer account or users in ECA accounts and provide access to these users to different ECA applications. Manager and Reader user roles define the level of access to ECA applications. Rich ID has been used so far to identify a user who gains access to R4BP3. From 3rd December 2014, ECA accounts shall be used to gain access to R4BP3. To facilitate the transition to the new system, ECA has already converted Rich ID accounts to ECA accounts. The conversion of an account to ECA accounts means that ECA has introduced the legal entity details and user details from Rich ID in ECA accounts. Once your account is converted, ECA accounts will ask you to provide a new password. In addition, you may need to provide an answer to the security question and verify your email if you have not done it previously in Rich ID. There is no need for you to know what the scenario applies to you the wizard will guide you to the option applicable to your case. More information on account conversion can be found in the ECA Accounts Manual available in the R4BP3 support website. Other two scenarios may apply to you. If you already have an account or need to create an account in Rich ID for Rich or CLP purposes and you are new to R4BP3, you will need to contact the ECA Help Desk to apply for an account conversion to ECA accounts. If you need to create a new company only for R4BP3, select Register a company from the R4BP3 portal. Follow the steps indicated in the wizard to complete, to complete the registration of your company. In order to go to ECA accounts from R4BP3, you need to select the legal entity or user ID under the ECA logo. You will be directed to ECA accounts. From here, you can also select go to EPIC or R4BP and you will be redirected to the relevant ECA application you want to gain access to, in this case, R4BP3. It is important to remember that you are locked in R4BP3 with the user available in ECA accounts. If you are in ECA accounts, logging with a different user and go back to R4BP3, any actions you make in R4BP3 will be performed by the later user. In ECA accounts, you will find three tabs, legal entity, contacts, and user. Legal entity details identify correctly your company for any application or notification submitted via R4BP3, including general details, contact information, address information, 
or billing address. You can edit the company name for administrative purposes, but remember that the change of a company name is still subject to the approval of your authorities and you will need to submit an administrative change on request before this company name change is approved. The export button allows you to export your Leox in IFIZ format. It is relevant for those who need to submit a technical dossier, for example, a national authorization. Contact details are relevant to allow ECA or the relevant competent authorities to determine who the cell contact in your company in relation to a particular application or notification. Contact details are also relevant to determine to what email address an email alert notification will be delivered. From December 2014, an email alert will be delivered to the email addresses indicated in the contact details section to inform you about key steps carried out by you, ECA, or your national authorities in relation to the submission of an application or notification. In addition, you will receive a notification for any relevant communication delivered to you by authorities in R4BP3. If needed, you can edit the contact details, selecting the contact name, clicking on the Edit button, and enter the email address you want to enter. For example, you may enter a functional mailbox if you wish so. Once these changes apply, you will need to click on Save and the changes will be included in ECA accounts. User Details tab allows you to determine who has access to a particular account. The user with legal entity manager role defines what users shall have access to this account. This user can add a new user and provide the relevant role to gain access to R4BP3. In this case, if I select add new user, I can enter the name, the surname, the email address to which this user will be linked. Enter a username. And under the user profile, you will have the possibility to determine to what application this user will have access and the level of access to this application. For example, if I select BPR Manager, this user will be able to perform actions and reply to authorities if needed. For BPR Reader, uh, the user will have the possibility to only read the information that is available in this account. By removing a role, you prevent this user to gain access to R4BP3. Once the changes have been completed, you will need to provide this one-time password to the user and uh, this user will need to log into ECA applications or to the R4BP3 portal. A new user has been added to your account. You can also reset the password of a user, you can edit the user details, and if needed, you can also delete the user in addition, you can include a foreign user to your account. A foreign user is a user with a different account to whom you may grant access to work using your account. The level of access to any application is the same one as the access granted to any of your users. More information on this topic can be found in the ECA Accounts Manual available in the support section of the ECA website. You can access health functionalities if you go directly to ECA accounts. In order to access ECA accounts, 
you can select Manage Company and Users from the R4BP3 portal. Remember that you can gain access to R4BP3 by yourself and you are responsible for making good use of your password. For this purpose, there is a series of help functionalities in the login page that will allow you, whenever is needed, to retrieve your password, to find out the usernames related to a particular email address, or to change the password linked to a specific user account. In order to use these help functionalities, you need to remember your username, the email address related to that username, and the answer to the security question. Further support can be found in the ECA Accounts FAQ, where you will have a brief de uh, detailed explanation on what ECA Accounts mean and some of the functionalities. You can also check the ECA Accounts manual available in the R4BP uh, section of the ECA website. And if you have further questions, please contact the ECA Help Desk.